Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth just dropped an overview of the story and gameplay and I need to talk about this. Hey, welcome to the Gaming Conversation. We make video game critiques, reviews, analyses, discussions, anything like that with a particular focus on the Yakuza series. If you enjoyed today's video, please do consider giving it a like and subscribing. Yep, so spoilers ahead. If you haven't seen the trailer, I'm going to just say that it's going to spoil a huge potential plot point of the game. It might come out early, but be warned, I'm going to talk about it all, so spoilers coming up. Where to start? Um, Kiliu has cancer, Hawaii looks unreal, and we've got a Pokemon-style game with the Sujimons where you get to battle them in arenas and grow them. Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth looks absolutely incredible. To be honest, I'm going to caption this the Ultimate Yakuza game because it might very well be, and I need to speak about this instantly. So, where to start? Well, first of all, the story looks like a real tearjerker, and potentially, from the story overview trailer, we've also got context as to why Gaiden exists, and why Kiliu might even have that grey hair. He's got cancer. The man that can survive any sort of beatdown, stabbings, and the ultimate Yakuza antagonist may have just been levelled out by life. And this is something that is really just sombering to feel and see. I didn't expect it and yeah, I'm really intrigued to see how this develops as a plot point. Is this his final hurrah? Is this going to be what motivates him to join and support Ichiban to pass on his legacy as he alludes to at the end of the trailer by saying you're the future of the Yakuza? Either way, this story is going to be a real tearjerker and I'm here for it. What I'm also excited about is how he integrates into the party system. And the trailer suggests that we get, which I think is the best possible combination, Kiryu working with the gang from the previous game in Yokohama and Ichiban with a new series of party members in Hawaii. No doubt there'll be convergence and I'm sure at the end of the game they'll all amalgamate together into one massive 8-9 person party. But either way, I'm so excited to see Kiryu interact with the cast from Like a Dragon. And at the same time as well, the story looks hype as well for Ichiban and deeply personal on the same level. We find out that he's looking for his mum, Akane. This looks like a deeply personal story and I'm really, really intrigued to see how it develops. You know, the thing is, we knew of Like a Dragon as well. They revealed Ichiban getting shot right at the start. There's so much more I'm sure that's going to unravel, including Ichiban's proposal to Psycho. It's not even clear who the main antagonist is, but also Sarashiro's back and it looks like he might be one of them, which I'm excited for because he was a great character in Like a Dragon. We've also got these other gang members from Hawaii, the Chinese Mafia are back, the Seryu clan are acting up. It's just so much going on and I imagine there's so much more that's going to come out. I just can't wait for this game. Outside of the kind of story implications and all that we saw in terms of development there, we know it's going to be deeply emotional. On a gameplay side, Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth looks absolutely incredible. We've got Ichiban running around on a scooter in Hawaii, swimming, sharks are everywhere, and we've got new pal mates as well, including Kaoru's back, as well as Yuya, and many other characters including Akiyama. I'm super just hyped for this. And as well, it looks like Kiryu's gameplay in the turn-based system also translates a little bit to the brawler style when he can go into freeform and start beating up thugs. So I think RGG Studios have been paying attention to feedback, and that is really refreshing to see. Generally, the trailers are just a vibe, and they clearly capture the charm, the silliness, but also the human emotion of the Yakuza series. And it's clear that they've really struck a tonal chord, at least in these trailers. That's what's got me so excited. This feels like, in the brief shots we've seen, the ultimate Yakuza game. Yeah, I'm saying it right now. I may live to regret this, but I am feeling the hype. Like a Dragon Infinite Well feels like it's going to be deeply emotional. And, you know, even having that little vision of Haruka for Kiryu, this might be his final swan song. And that imbuing with also Ichiban having his first, you know, full game as an established lead already. I'm so, so excited for I'm really intrigued to see the new party members as well who look very interesting. We've got male and female that we don't recognize uh, too well from Hawaii and how that kind of integrates into gameplay as well. Also, the game's so on trend right now. We have a seemingly antagonistic VTuber threatening to reveal that Kiliu is still alive. I have no idea what this even means, but again, I'm just intrigued. It feels like to a degree, RGG Studios have imbued a lot of the kind of insanity of the sub-stories into potentially the main plot. Between that and Ichiban washing up naked on the beach, it feels like the story's gonna have a real comedic element to it, which I think actually could be really interesting turn of pace. This isn't to say that there's not gonna be the serious moments, but I think that's part of the charm that I really like with Like a Dragon, having that party, having more human moments, like for example, Nambo and Ichiban just sitting in bed talking about their dreams. This is something that I feel like they've developed from the previous game and now integrated Kiryu and old cast members into. So I'm really intrigued by how the tone's going to be and how they're going to balance all the different tones from the serious moments to the comedic moments to the real pathos we'll get, no doubt, at many points. 
Hawaii looks so colorful and vibrant and I'm so excited for all the potential sub stories we're gonna get and potentially miscommunication each of us gonna have with people. Think about that comedic sub story where we're talking about translating English and where the station was in Like a Dragon. I'm imagining a similar tone with that and I'm really excited to see what that looks like. There seems to be loads of interesting new wacky side activities and I think having this new location completely will hopefully offer a refreshing gameplay change in the loop as well. I guess the part that will still be a little bit unclear is actually how the gameplay feels because I think that was the most contentious part of Like a Dragon. Naturally moving from brawler style combat to turn based was always going to be something that a lot of fans would feel some type of way about. And for me personally, I really liked the turn based change, the job system, I felt like it really worked with the kind of tone of the game. But was it the best turn based system ever? No, not really and I think it lacked some complexity. And in particular throughout a lot of the game it felt quite easy and then suddenly spiked. If you've played the game you know where it spikes. So I'm hoping they found a real good balance here. It looks like you can move your character around and use positioning a lot more. Obviously Kiliu's gameplay varies a little bit and we've got more jobs in. But I think it's critical that they really nail the feel of this and the complexity. And in particular the enemy types and bosses make them feel unique like more of an experience. Because I think that was one thing that was really lacking. And potentially as well didn't quite live up to the previous game's hype that we got from the brawler style combat. Also, it low-key looks like there's a surfer job, and yeah, I just, that's cool. I just want to see what that means. I'm hoping that Ichiban can, like, almost be, like, Aquaman style and summon, like, sea monsters. Yeah, this is Yakuza, so I'm allowed to make something over the top like that be a thing. Um, but either way, I like the look of the new jobs. We've got Samurai, Desperado getting real cowboy style, Geo Dancer, which I'm just incredibly intrigued about. Pyro Dancer and possibly my favourite that's been shown, Housekeeper. I just love how silly some of these jobs are, but also how awesome the animations look. So yeah, I'm all for it and the new pal mates coming back as well. I feel like I'm going to forget so many aspects of this trailer and this is very much a very quick reaction hype. Just absolute word jumble of a reaction. Song Hee looks like she's going to be as part of the party, which is awesome because she was low-key one of my favourite characters in Like a Dragon. If I had to nitpick, I was looking at the minigames and I was seeing no bowling and pool. At some point, can we get this back? Surely on the Dragon Engine at some point, but either way, I know I'm going to lose countless hours in Sujimon Battle probably, amongst all the other exciting new minigames and the ones we can also say we're used to. We haven't even seen a hint of the sub stories yet, which I think are just going to be absolutely bonkers. Yeah, so I've just spent like 8-9 minutes low-key just gassing this game up. I have my reservations, of course, for the turn-based combat, but I also feel like, you know, this does feel like almost the ultimate Yakuza game, tying our new protagonist and our long-standing protagonist together with loads of long-standing characters and it feels like maybe it's going to finally be the final part of Kiliu's saga and handing that torch over to Ichiban like it should be. The gameplay looks really fun, Hawaii looks really vibrant and colourful, it's definitely giving me Watch Dog 2 vibes if you played that in terms of the colour scheme in San Francisco. I'm super hype and I can't wait to see how it goes and it's also made me more hype for Like a Dragon Gaiden as well. I'm trying something a little bit different with some of these videos, I want to do some more regular content and just reaction sometimes just to give that excitement and feel because I love this series. So if you enjoyed today's video, please do consider giving it a like and hitting subscribe. I'd love to know down below what aspects of the game you're most hyped about and if there's something you're concerned about as well. Hear it out, let's continue the conversation in the comments. Once again, I've been Michael JH, this has been The Gaming Conversation. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll catch you for the next one where we talk about Like a Dragon Gaiden.